Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Harika. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about how you can learn or uh, orchestrate your API calls, how you can do uh, uh, from your side. And also uh, I wanted to mention about uh, some of the comments that or uh, you know, I have seen uh, below the video um, because I can just respond to that comments directly um, uh, below the video, but you know, I thought the questions are valid and also maybe it can be useful if I can make a video on it for so many people and um, you can just learn it from there. So there's a whole idea. So while I talk, talk through the video, I will be linking some of the relevant uh, videos, links over here. So you can just click on the link and you will be redirected to that particular concept and you can learn it from there. So if you're watching my channel for the first time, I would like you to ask you to subscribe to my channel because you can learn a lot from my channel because you can find videos right from the basics till the advanced concepts. Um, like document understanding forms, AI forms, apps, and so many other things. And apart from that, uh, you can also learn the basics uh, also on my channel. Uh, so there are so many uh, videos on basics as well. So uh, if you have already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much for that. And without any delay, let's get into the video and see how you can learn orchestrator API calls via Postman. So before i actually address you the links and everything uh, to learn it let me come up with some uh, uh, some concepts where you can get a good understanding of what it is all about and how you can learn it from so basically if you are not sure what is an api is and how you can do an uh, api automation so here is the link uh, just check out this particular video that will give you enough understanding because uh, you know whenever you're doing orchestrator api calls uh, definitely you should understand the terminologies like what it is written and how to utilize that particular output for the next uh, steps okay so for that you should have a at least the basic understandings of what is an api Mm, what it returns and what it does how it works and uh, you know the, the some basic terminologies around it so this playlist will definitely help you to learn it from there and after that i wanted to talk about the comment uh, and also give you some uh, uh, you know some clarity over it so basically an orchestrator api is used to perform all the actions that we can do on orchestrator right like uh, you know you can create an asset get the values of uh, the queues create a queue item you can start the process get the jobs processes and everything so uh, if you can do everything uh, all these things in the orchestrator then why we are doing it through orchestrator api calls it's a valid point right so here is my answer for that so if we, yeah definitely we can do it but apis are basically used for integration purpose so you can integrate it with any of the third party applications so uh, understand this point clearly let's take a scenario where you are running a process or you are working on a process and um, in the middle of the process you wanted to take a decision or let's say you wanted to start a job uh, by based on a condition like you know based on the value of the queue that gets added or um, based on an asset value or based on the process that is already running on that particular mission so on in that way in that case or in that scenario uh, so or you can just use the orchestrator api calls in your process you can just integrate them and based on the output that you get from that particular orchestrator api request uh, so you can just um, take a decision you can just build a flow instead uh, if you wanted to do the same thing through orchestrator you can just do by you you just have to create you know a very big logic around it or you have to create a queue based trigger or something of that kind right so this will be uh in in this case you can just take the advantage of orchestrator apis and you can just utilize the response that you're getting from there and you can just decide the flow how it has to be processed right so in that way it will definitely help you uh to minimize uh your logic and to utilize the uh, uh take the advantage of orchestrator apis so uh if you wanted to learn more about it and if you wanted to you know uh get more hands-on on it so this uh playlist will definitely help you and before i actually give you the links for that playlist i wanted to talk about one more question that i have seen um, so why we are using postman 
So basically, postman is used uh, just to see the responses, like to test the responses. So it it's an application wherein you can you know you can provide your request and it will provide you the uh, the response from the server. So the responses you can just view, uh, you can just understand. If the request is correct or the response is correct, what issue you are actually getting and how you can resolve it, everything will be clearly mentioned in the postman, right? So that will help you to understand the responses and how you can give the re request, okay? So this is just an application to uh, observe and the test the uh, request and the responses of a particular API. And uh, so now the main thing, if you wanted to learn, it just takes only two hours. I'm telling you uh, all the videos, there are uh, 13 videos in this playlist. So just spend two hours for that. You can learn everything. Uh, you can learn what is an API. You can learn everything like orchestrator API and how you can uh, you know, perform all the actions like uh, creating an asset, uh, getting an asset values, creating a queue item, getting the queue item values, folders, environments, processes, jobs. You can even uh, understand and learn how to start the jobs. And not just that, I have um, explained everything with the demos and examples. So you can just replicate everything into your uh, Postman. And I have also shown you uh, with everything from where you can get it from the connector guide, orchestrator connector guide. So you will get complete understanding on uh, by end of these two hours, by end of these 13 videos. So here is the playlist. So firstly, uh, check out this playlist. This playlist will give you a whole understanding on it. And also, for uh, most importantly, before you perform all these actions, uh, the authentication, the, you have to be authorized to perform all these actions to your cloud orchestrator. So here is the video that I'm going to link. Um, so this video will give you uh, enough understanding on how you can provide or how you can access uh, your cloud orchestrator through orchestrator API calls. So that authorization video is the first and the foremost one. Just check out that video and do let me know uh, if you are facing any questions in the comments so as i have explained you um if i find the uh, question valid and if i feel it it will be useful for many people i will definitely address it to a video otherwise i'll respond back on your comment and i'll definitely help you out with your questions so if you find this video useful do share it with your friends and also do let me know in the comment sections uh, your thoughts and your views and also do like don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more interesting learnings. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video with more interesting content.